Please welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from November 15th to December 15th. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Pisces, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Pisces, is the devil. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the four of swords in reverse. Okay, so your challenge here has a lot to do with something that you're attached to. Okay, I feel like there's an attachment here. Um, it's probably not the greatest, um, you know, uh, thing for you to be attached to with the devil here. We're going to find out what your challenge is here in a moment when we, when we clarify. Now, in the recent past, you have the two of wands, the two of cups, and the page of cups. I feel like someone here really wanted to, um, you know, start a life with you here in the past. You know, two of cups, very strong connection between you and a specific person. I feel like there may have been a decision that needed to be made about how you and this person were planning on moving forward. Um, I'm also seeing, you know, new love or new opportunity here with someone who is offering you love as well too. Now, for some of you, this could have been a separation that happened in the past between you and this person. And I feel like this person decided to come back or you decided to come back and there may have been some sort of forgiveness here, which led to you and this person making plans to, to, to move into, um, you know, a direction together. So we're going to find out more about this when we clarify. Now in the present moment, you have the two of pentacles, the six of swords and the tower. So it looks like there's something that is coming to an end here. Okay. Um, I feel like what is coming to an end for many of you right now is the fact that something here is no longer functioning the way it used to function. Um, something is crumbling in the present moment and it's actually forcing maybe you or this person to disconnect. There is a decision here that needs to be made about this. Okay. Because um, there's something here about trying to maintain status quo, trying to, you know, maintain things the way that they used to be. And it's kind of not really possible to do that in the present moment. So we're going to find out more when we clarify in the near future, you have the ace of swords, the four of cups and the eight of pentacles. Something here is not working anymore. Okay. Um, I feel like this could be in your job. This could be, this could have something to do with an investment here could have something to do with love. I feel like you're rejecting someone or something here in the near future um, because you want clarity in terms of where you stand maybe with the situation. I don't know. We're going to find out when we clarify. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the oops, four of swords, the hierophant, nine of wands, the empress, the fool, and the three of pentacles. Something here stopped working with you and a specific person. Although you wanted to have a new beginning with this person, both of you were not able to cooperate with one another and see eye to eye. Therefore, things did not grow. Someone here gave up. Fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, maybe a Taurus, completely gave up on this situation with you. And I feel like although there was supposed to be a marriage or an engagement, that never happened. Some of you ended up um, divorcing or disconnecting um, from your marriage as of late. And um, it's like, it, it doesn't bother you anymore. There's something here that doesn't really, it doesn't really bother you because a lot of you are realizing that is that, excuse me, if something is for you, Pisces, you don't have to chase. You don't have to make it work. It just works for you. Okay. That's what a lot of you are learning right now. And that's what you don't see coming. The fact that you don't have to feel powerless over something that you have no control over. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not for you, then it's not for you. Okay. So this is what you're learning right now. This is what you don't see coming. Now let's get into your reading and see what's going on. Let's clarify your challenge.
Okay, so the devil is clarified by the Ace of Cups. You have the King of Swords and the Empress. So your challenge here, Pisces, is the fact that a lot of you need to recognize what is toxic in your life. What is it that you're doing? It doesn't have to be just love. It could be a number of things. There's something in your life right now that you're attached to and it may be restricting you or making you feel like you can't really grow or move forward. So your challenge here is to recognize what needs to be cut out of your life that is toxic. It could be smoking, it could be drinking, it could be the food that you're eating, it could be a relationship, it could be a job. There's something around you that you need to identify with the King of Swords here um, to release it, to cut it out of your life, to move towards something that's more prosperous, something that you can nurture, something that you can create in order to have some sort of new beginning, okay? So this is your challenge, this is what I'm seeing. Let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Two of Cups in the recent past. The Two of Cups is clarified by the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. So it looks like um, exactly what I said here happened. A reconciliation possibly here in the past. Wanting to come back together after a separation with the Two of Wands here. Someone was really in their head about this you know, whether or not they should do it. Because like I said, um, for some of you, you know, this person that you were dealing with in the past, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel like you and this person had a really strong connection. No matter what you two tried to do, you ended up coming back together. And I feel like there was an apology here in the past, forgiveness in order to come together and choose the path that you both wanted to move forward on. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing in the past. Now in the present moment, it looks like something here is crumbling. And as a result of that, a decision has to be made. What is breaking down right now in the present moment for Pisces with the tower here? Okay, so the tower is clarified by the five of wands, the page of cups and the page of swords. So it's very clear to me that in the present moment for many of you right now, um, there's a conflict. There's some, there's some sort of conflict here in the present moment. And it's like, you're trying to, you know, maybe offer forgiveness or heal the situation here in the present moment. Um, but it's become so intense. And the more you, you argue with this person, the more there's conflict, the more you look into this situation and try to figure out, you know, what can I do in this situation? How can I make it better? How can I rebuild all of this? And it may come to the point, Pisces, where a lot of you are like, you know what, maybe I just need to disconnect from this. <laughs> maybe I just need to disconnect completely from this. And that's a decision that a lot of you may need to make in the present moment. Tell me more about the two of pentacles for Pisces in the present moment. The Two of Pentacles is clarified by the High Priestess, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Pentacles. I do see an offer coming in. I think intuitively you know this with the High Priestess here. Intuitively you know an offer is coming in and that you're going to have to make a decision because by you making a decision in the present moment, if, that's, if this is your story, um, I feel like you know that you need to make this decision because what this decision is going to lead to is room for you to receive an opportunity. If you're busy and you're juggling things, which is, you know, the symbology of the two of pentacles. If you look at this card, it's someone who's juggling two things. If you're juggling something in your life, Pisces, how are you going to make room for what it is that you truly want and feel that you deserve? Okay. So that's why something here is breaking down. You may be looking at the situation as, oh my God, my life's over. Like, why is the situation breaking down? Why isn't it working? No, spirit is doing this for you so you can recognize that you need to make space for something else that you truly want. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing in the present moment. Now, in the near future, it gets really interesting because somebody here is offering you love or you could be offering someone love here. Um, there's something here about wanting truth and clarity, okay, regarding some sort of job, maybe a business here. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords in the near future for Pisces.
So the Ace of Swords is clarified by the King of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. So it's really clear to me that a lot of you are going to be confessing something here in the near future. Now, if this isn't you, it could be your person. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like there's going to be some sort of message here about someone disconnecting from this, okay? Um, someone here is choosing to walk away. This could be you. Uh, deciding to disconnect from this situation because it's no longer um, giving them what they need here. Okay, someone here is bored of the situation. Tell me more about the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Judgment. So in the near future, a lot of you are choosing to recognize and realize that a situation, Pisces, that has been causing you a lot of stress, fear, anxiety, is now pushing you to disconnect from it, okay? Because you're no longer interested in it no longer interested in it. So I see a lot of you shifting your focus to work, um, shifting your focus to things that you can create and you can do. And this is part of your transformation, right? Making room for the things that it is that you truly want between now and the month of December. So let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? Okay, so the advice here for you, Pisces, is the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Your advice right now is to really recognize uh, why a conflict is happening. And, you know, once you identify why this conflict's happening, that's when you're going to be able to really give to the situation, okay? So rather than fighting and arguing, there's something here about you recognizing why this is happening. For many of you, the argument or conflict is a catalyst. It's facilitating you to take action, okay? So if you haven't had a reason to take action or you haven't wanted to take action, Spirit is putting this conflict here in your life to bring back some form of balance, okay? The, the Six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving okay so if there's been a, a situation in your life where someone has been giving way too much and hasn't been receiving anything back or vice versa that may be why the conflict is happening and this conflict that's happening Pisces is facilitating a catalyst to push you to make plans number one to move into a completely new direction that takes you out of this place of being in your comfort zone okay that's what's you know that would that's what you know growth is all about growth is all about pushing ourselves into a new direction which a lot of us don't want to do um but spirit is saying that you know it's time for you to move into this new direction and this conflict is what is facilitating that okay so pisces this is what i have for you i hope this reading helped thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one